Hey guys, uh, well we finally get some spider time. Well mostly it's going to be Miriam. Today is her first day of three wheel motorcycle certification. It's in a neighboring city of Suffolk, Virginia. Uh, we're on our way over there. Miriam's in the red Mazda SUV up ahead of us. The reason we're taking two vehicles is uh, she's going to be in class all day, today and tomorrow. Uh, and on the spider and I am going to be there shooting a lot of video and I also would like to have transportation so I could go oh, run any errands I might need to run so we're going to take two vehicles and if we're lucky there will be a nice safe place we can park the old spider tonight and uh, not have to drive two vehicles back and forth it's it's about an hour's drive to where we're going uh, it is put on by Tidewater Community College and strangely enough with a subsidy from Can-Am. We uh, started getting emails back in after at the first of the year advertising this training course which is uh, I'm, I'm guessing wrong but probably a couple of hundred dollars uh, is only seventy nine dollars because uh, Can-Am is subsidizing it. In theory you can actually go to the school without having a having a, a, a three-wheel motorcycle and they provide them uh, but when I talked to them a couple of years ago they would rotate you between uh, a, a trike a sidecar and a spider and I don't sure how the spider is configured with the transmission and so forth uh, Miriam doesn't have that much experience with the manual transmission so it have to be uh, the SM model so it just be easier to Go ahead and add her to the insurance policy to our spider, which uh, went into effect yesterday. So we're on our way. It's uh, a little chilly this morning. Check the outside temperature when I first got up. It was 41 degrees, 41 degrees. So I uh, uh, added some extra layers of insulation. We've got the old coffee here. So it's, uh, it's exciting. Yesterday I had the opportunity to give Miriam her first orientation uh, from the cockpit. So you get some, uh, a little bit of time uh, in our neighborhood. And it reminded me of the old days when I was teaching people how to fly airplanes. Uh, I remember the feeling. Uh, one of the most, one of the most powerful memories a pilot will ever have is the day when they solo for the first time. That is when the instructor climbs out of the airplane and says, "Okay, you're on your own." And, and traditionally, that consists of uh, basically three takeoffs and landings at the same airport uh, and that's your initial solo and the supervisor uh, it's being supervised by your instructor I know that I always used to have a pair of binoculars and a handheld radio I, uh, I, 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 I try to avoid giving coaching during the solo uh, unless I absolutely had to but I had that backup system because it defeats the purpose of the student pilot being on their own and that is a very powerful experience the first time I, I remember it was 1974 yes boys and girls I'm that old in 1974 in August I soloed for the first time uh, I, I didn't know what was happening the instructor is uh, very quiet through the entire flight and I didn't know that he was basically doing an evaluation to make sure I was ready to go I was 17 years old he says take it back to the uh, to the parking area and I thought I had screwed up badly and the, the day was over and we only got half of our lesson in so he says, stop right here. I stop the airplane. He opens the door and climbs out and says, give me a logbook. I hand him my logbook. He signs off the solo endorsement and says, take it around three times. And it's like, what, 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 where are you going? Get back in the airplane. And I remember, I mean, you're trained very well. The training for flight training is quite, quite good. I remember you're going through your procedures, your checklist, and everything is working just like you're supposed to. And airborne, climbing up the altitude in the traffic pattern. And I look to my right, and the seat is empty. And I look around. And of course, it's only a two-seat airplane. I look around. There's nobody else in the airplane with me. And I went, holy crap. I'm 17 years old, and I'm flying an airplane by myself. A very powerful experience. That is only to be seconded by the instructor who signs you off. Uh, the first time I ever signed off a student for solo. 
You know, the FAA is very clear about uh, the level of competency and they use uh, very clear metrics on how to make sure the student has, knows how to do certain tasks. And uh, But then again, you're sending somebody out on their own based on training that you've given them. So the first time I did that, when I climbed out of the airplane, endorsed the student's logbook and said, take it around three times. The expression on her face was that you're sending me off to die. And that that was, uh, so I remember the first time I ever soloed and the first time I ever soloed another student. Anyway, long story to get back to yesterday, after I give Miriam some basics on how to start, how to stop, how to steer, uh, that sort of thing. I go, now, take it from the end of our driveway down to the end of the cul-de-sac and bring it back. And I was sending her off the solo. The expression on her face was 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 actually more self-assured than I would expect. Of course, she was riding a motorcycle in our neighborhood, not flying an airplane, but you get the point. But I had the same feeling. I'm sending my wife off to die. Uh, I don't know how much video they'll let me shoot on the property uh, just because there are other students in the class that probably don't want to be on YouTube. So, this is the first time I've had the spider really out on the highway probably in a couple of months. And even though it's, it's cold outside, it's still in the 40s, my golly, <laughs> this is really good. Although you can't hear it, I got some tunes cranking through the old headset uh, inside the helmet. Uh, some, some Jimmy Buffett. And yeah, just feeling good. And all I'm doing is ferrying the motorcycle to the training course for Miriam. But uh, I'm looking forward to We're doing a, uh, uh, a trip to Alabama uh, middle of next month. It's uh, our first really long trip together. We did a, a trip to the mountains last summer, but this is going to be longer and the two of us. And still looking forward. We're going to try to hit that California trip this year, shooting right now for September. Uh, the reason we pushed it back, well, first of all, I didn't think that uh, I had targeted middle of May, which is the peak of real estate season, and that's what I do. So that was silly. September is uh, one of the slowest months of the year in real estate. Plus, it gives me more time to uh, save up the money. Uh, the trip's going to be a little pricey, and I do not believe in charging or financing fun. So, uh, going to pay cash. Make sure I got it saved up. So, we're on track, and we'll see what happens. Uh, if I have to go another winter without taking this thing to California, I'm going to, I don't know, hurt something. So, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, but this does feel good out here this morning. The only thing I need to work on is a way to drink coffee with the visor completely down uh, for the cold weather. I need to work on a tube system. I mean, gosh, if the astronauts can do it, I can do it. So. Okay. Hold out your hand. Go forth and spider. <laughs> Thank you. Have fun. Look at the smile on her face. She's having a blast. But she's in the hands of some very capable instructors, and I can't watch. We will catch you guys later. Take care.